Hello, my dear students. I hope you're all still taking good care of yourselves by staying active. Once again, this is English class with Mom Cleo. Let's take a look at today's learning targets. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to note details in a story, get the meanings of words using context clues, organize ideas and feelings using semantic web, and identify the elements of a story. The short story is a popular form of literature. It has five key elements, characters, setting, conflict, plot, and theme. For this lesson, you will be learning about the elements of a short story. One of the most important elements in a story is the setting. The setting is when and where the story takes place, and it can have a major effect on the story. The setting could be in a house at noon or a church at night. A story set in a house will be very different from a story set in a church. The time period is important too. These items would be out of place if the story setting was not a modern or futuristic setting. Next up, we have characters. Characters can become the most interesting figures in a short story. Well-written characters are almost lifelike and remind you of real people. Characters can also be in the form of objects or ideas. The way an author writes the personality of a character is called characterization. The story's plot is another important element. These are the major events of the story. In many stories, things usually start out okay, but then the character has to overcome some challenge before life returns to normal, or almost normal. A typical short story's plot can be patterned into Freytag's pyramid. We start off with the exposition. It reveals the story's setting and characters. It is the beginning of the story. The rising action is where the action of the story begins to build. This part introduces the conflict. Climax is the turning point in the story itself. It's usually very suspenseful. Falling action is where the events of the story begin to come to close. The conflict begins to be resolved. Resolution is the ending or where all the loose strings are tied up, also called the denoma. Sometimes when characters don't get along, conflicts are created. The conflict is the struggles of the main character or the problem that the main character needs to solve. There are many kinds of conflicts that are experienced by the main characters. There are internal conflicts or struggles about and within oneself. Only the main character can resolve this conflict. Man versus self is where a character faces his or her own problems. There are also external conflicts or the struggles of the main character outside oneself. Man versus man. This is where two or more characters are against one another. Man versus society. A character struggles against laws, beliefs, and traditions. Man versus nature. A character struggles against the forces of nature like winter, floods, or the desert heat. Man versus fate. This is where a character is forced to follow a destiny. The theme can refer to how the readers understand the story or what the story tells about its subject. It is not what happens or just what the story is about. The theme generally refers to the unifying meaning or central idea of the story. There are five important elements in the story. Setting, when and where the story takes place. Characters, or the people, animals, or beings that play a part in the story. Conflict, or the struggles or problem that needs to be solved. Plot, the important events that happen in the story. Theme, the central idea of the story. Great job finishing this video. Don't forget to check out your Schoology account for activities about today's lesson. Once again, this has been English Class with Mom Cleo.